Japanese. I mean, I can speak about BAC, Brickfields Asia College. Oh, uh, <laughs> Brickfields Asia. <laughs> they should sponsor you. They Fun fact, yeah. before my brother had gone to BAC, my mother had initially advertised it to him as Raja Singham's College. Yeah, man. <laughs> because at that point, I was like, okay, I want to do law. Then my mom was like, one morning, I still remember when she told me it was like early before we had left for school. She was like, my friend. Yeah, there's a college, Raja Singham's College. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm not going to a college <laughs> named Raja Singham's College. Okay? I don't know what college is that. I don't <laughs> care if it's a triple story house or whether it's a five, I don't know, block building. Okay? I'm not going to a college named Raja Singham's <laughs> College. <laughs> he be the tyrant of that college. <laughs> well, but, in all... In all trueness, it is Raja Singham's college. Yeah. <laughs> BAC is. is a front. It is, it is actually Raja Singham's college. No, they have a crazy success story because they went from five people owning a small block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They went from uh, a small... <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> we went we from... Don't address it. Don't yeah, address we, it. Went <laughs> we went from... Uh, uh, they went from five people owning a block, right, in uh, Brickfields to... Opening a second building next door. I mean, acquiring a second building. Getting a third building down the road in Brickfields. To then... Uh, again, our five people just own this company. Yeah, right? Going public. Going public listed. They were public listed? Yes. Shit. That's how they got the money to do the PJ campus. Damn, okay. That's a huge development. Hmm. Right? Buying over IACT. <laughs> Yo, it's just... It's one of the great... Malaysian, to me, like, one of the great Malaysian success stories of our time, our generation. Five people, you know, like, becoming uh, such a big institution. But, you know, I was from B from BAC, from A-levels, all the way up to doing my CLP. Mm. And to give credence to them, they gave an amazing platform for people to uplift themselves from the, their stations in life. Because doing a law degree is a very beneficial degree. Mm. Right? It opens a lot of avenues for you. And the way they structured their course was such that it was so tailor-made to you passing exams. <laughs> we, they, they had so many people who were like uh, single mothers mm. uh, who were like, for example, uh, had a full-time job coming in for part-time classes. There was uh, air stewardess, right? Doing part-time classes. Wow. Graduating and then uh, with a law degree going on to uh, do CLP and becoming a lawyer. Totally, uh, you know, uplifting themselves. So that's the great thing about Brickfields. Bad thing about Brickfields is the content <laughs> of what they deliver. There's a story we used to joke about. La. Like people say you should never spoon feed, right? But <laughs> we'll say BAC takes it one step further, they breastfeed. <laughs> <laughs> Imagery doesn't help. <laughs> but okay, like now you're employed. Yeah. Do your employers think this way, this way as well? Like, is no. there a negative impression? No, no, no. The reason why is because so many people go to... Like, my A-levels class was 200 people. Yeah. And that's one class. That year had three classes. So, you have 600 people going for A-levels, which waters down for your degree, which waters down for your CLP. And then you have to get through your CLP, which is a big um, hurdle. That filtering process uh, helps in giving you good candidates in the market. Some lousy people get out there as well, but a lot of good candidates go out as well. But the problem is the skills and the level of level of maturity in the thought process in terms of the law is very, very shallow. Yeah. Because basically, BAC is super affordable, super efficient, <laughs> you know, super fast, you know, it's the Air Asia Law School. <laughs> yeah. It's the McDonald's Law School. <laughs> it's basically uh, like a factory churning out grads. Yeah. You know? And they're giving the market what it wants, I suppose. But um, in terms of quality, like again, like the McDonald's effect, you know, it's attractive, it's cheap, yeah. it's fast. But whether it's good for health in the long run, yeah. very, very questionable. I think I know like multiple people who have jumped on the BAC bandwagon just because they heard it was like a three-year thing mm. and it was quick, uh, the right? Speed, yeah. The speed. I think that's the most exciting you, thing about do you, it. Do you know how they do that speed? No. Have I actually... I don't think you've... I've actually told you. No. Okay, A-levels, you have three to four subjects, right? Yeah. So, you just imagine someone pitching this idea in BAC. 
so you got your AS for like one year and then your A2 for another year. Then like, actually there's another way. Drop, because for you to get through your A-levels, you need to pass minimum two subjects. Just do two. Just do two subjects, but do it in one year. So you do half. So you half year like A-levels. So you just, basically your first year, you do both your AS and A2. Ah. And you only do two subjects. But of course, if you fail, even one cannot lah. Yeah. But barring that, you should be fine. And a lot of people, passing is not that difficult lah. But can you imagine someone pitching that idea? Oh, we can actually make it faster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to cut off one year, yeah. cut off uh, two subjects, yeah. just do the bare minimum and we compress it for you. Yeah. That's pretty crazy, man. It's intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, f- from a business perspective, yes. Yeah. From a personal de- de- development perspective, probably not. <laughs> but the thing is, because it's so fast, affordable, etc., I've known lots of people who've done it and then realized like, you know, they don't want to be lawyers. Ah. So they then take other degrees or professional certifications. So then they then become like accountants with a law degree or engineers mm. with a law degree, <laughs> doctors with a law degree. Yeah. That's a pretty exciting combination, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just think that BAC has a place in the market. I'm hoping that other colleges like Taylor's Hub, I mean, they are giving out good uh, quality con- content in terms of their tuition. I hope that they market themselves better and that people will be willing. I'm sure there are people who will be willing to pay for an, a particular type of experience. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that that, that also rises along with BAC. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>